super speed effect. And now we're going to show you how to create it in Final Cut Pro. Let's go. So the first thing I did when I went to Final Cut Pro was I brought in two clips. One was of our super speed actor running and then the second one that I brought in was a clean plate of the background with um, the same shot, nothing changed, just same camera angle. So then next I put the clean plate on top of the actor shot and I expanded the timeline so that I could see it better. And then by pressing V, I disabled the top clip so I could better see what was going on in my bottom clip. And then I was looking for the spot when our super speed actor was waving and it looked like the part where I wanted for her to appear in the shot and I belated it there. And then I'm gonna delete the other part of the shot because we don't need the clean plate after that. So then now I'm going to re-enable the clean plate at the beginning portion of the shot and I want to add on a draw mask tool. So to add on the draw mask tool, I go to the effects browser and I go to the mask section and then just drag and drop the draw mask on top of that clean plate. And because we know our super speed actor is on the left hand portion of the shot, I'm just going to do a rough mask on the left hand side so I can kind of get a feel for where she is going to appear. And then as you'll see, once you connect all the dots of the mask, then your other actor is going to show up. And then as you can see, it's not a perfect mask. So we're going to have to do a little bit of editing. So in order to edit the mask, I clicked on the mask control points and changed their location at the beginning. And then after this, I'm going to add on a keyframe onto that whole mask. So then when I change it from each frame, uh, the mask will change position throughout the shot. So now I'm just going to add a keyframe in the control point section up in the draw mask and this will allow me to change frame by frame all of the different control points on the mask so that our original clip isn't impacted by the clean plate that's on top. As you can see, it's kind of cut off a little bit so that's why I'm going back and forth between frames just to fix that mask. And at this point I'm keeping a fairly close mask on myself because I don't want the other actor to show up before. Um, you're supposed to see her in the effect. So now I'm adding a keyframe at opacity and I'm also going a few frames forward and adding a keyframe. And so the first keyframe for opacity is going to be at 100% and then you go to the end of the clip and you change the opacity to zero. So it'll fade in. And now I'm adding in some assets that I found for super speed and I got them at production crate or footage crate. It's pretty much the same thing, but I'll link them below so you can check those out and they're free. So then I added a luma key on the first one that I added because it had a black background. You can also do screen, but I thought that luma key looked better on it. And then I'm just going to position it so that it fits where it should be. So next I added a draw mask tool to the lightning clip and proceeded to draw a mask because it was covering up one of the actors and it just didn't look right from the angle that the actor was coming from, and then I inverted it, and then after that I just went frame by frame and added some control points so that I could um, fix the mask where there were any problems. After that, I added a second super speed clip, and that was just to have the actor exiting, and because of the angle that it was shot at, I didn't actually need to do any more masking or anything, so that was good. And then after that, I went to the effects tab, added a blur, which was a Gaussian blur, and added it to both of the super speed clips because I thought it made it look a little bit better. There was a little bit of blur on it. And then now I selected all of it and created a new compound clip with it. And then the last thing I did after creating the compound clip was I added some color correction and I also added some sound effects and a handheld shake effect as well. But you have the basics of the effect now. So I just kind of chose a color correction that I like for it. And I have a link in the description if you want to check out that color correction plugin. So that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider commenting, liking, and subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.